everything on GTK is a widget, and everything on Builder is a plugin. And that's exactly why you can enable or disable every single component from the options. The problem is that on GTK we just can't import a widget from a widgets library like on Flutter, and on Builder we can't install extensions from a marketplace like on Visual Studio Code. Actually, on Builder I thought that we couldn't even install plugins on Runtime, and that all the plugins should be built on Builder's mainline. Oh well, I was basically wrong, but I only found out today. For example, there is this repository on GitHub that has a few extensions, and one of them is the Swift templates. This particular extension is written in Vala, but you can also use Python or C. You can download the compiled files from the GitHub Actions, and you need to unzip them on your .local and share directory under the GNOME Builder and Plugins. Note, this location will also work for Flatpak Builder, and also, the plugins are only compatible for GNOME Builder 45. The next time we open Builder and try to create a new project, we'll be able to select the Swift Lang and a specific template. For instance, an executable program. Let's give it a name and create a project. This plugin basically calls the Swift CLI for generating a new project, so it only created the very necessary files for getting something up and running. Speaking of which, we can hit the run directly from Builder. Hello Apple from Xcode 45. 30 versions ahead. Ha! By the way, if we open the Builder settings, we will more sincerely see the Swift extension we installed, together with her author, but definitely this part needs lots of work to follow the REST editor's trend with the super community support. And yes, I inserted the 2 gigs of Swift Lang only for showing to you this hello world, but with the hope for someone to work on an AI code generator extension, because it's ridiculous when VIM has it and Builder has not. <laughs>